Let's start. Please rise for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Board Member Roll Craig. Coil. Here. Board Member Nysel. Board Member Steen. Here. Board Member Bill Larkin. Present. Supervisor DeScopano. Here. I have a motion to approve last month's meeting minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ellie will be a few minutes late. Supervisor's notes. A big congratulations to Pine Hill Wellington community winning a $1.6 million grant for rehabilitation with the idea of partnership with Rupco for affordable housing, workforce housing, a retail food shop, to name a few possibilities. We're receiving $25,000 from NYSERDA and through a few different grants from them, we'll be doing some EV chargers and a heat pump for Pine Hill Library. We'll be using some ARPA funds for new AEDs to outfit our police fleet, Glenford Park, summer camp, um, town hall, and the highway garage. We're also uh, investigating putting together an RFP for Pine Hill water meters and readers, and we'll be doing that in the coming months. Our next meeting is September 9th, two, uh, Monday, a week later than normal because of the holiday. Supervisors report. On revenues, ambulance, $11,696.62. Vital statistics, $308. Ambulance donations, 100. Town clerk, e easy pass fees, $85. STR receivables, $6,934.76. Planning, 150. Building permit fees, $8,256.41. Dog licenses, $107. Zoning, $375. Summer rec, $2,910. Justice fees, $3,450.94. Uh, health insurance payment, $245.68. Cemetery sale for a plot, $400. Quill reimbursement, $275.75. Uh, medical offices, $800. Charter franchise fee, $15,641.83. Interest and penalty on taxes, $20,647.09. Police fees, $60. Ambulance payroll reimbursement, $8,686. Rotary reimbursement for an AED, $1,682.43. Earned interest on accounts, $9,165. Hudler Cemeteries funds received, $18,000. Big Indian AED reimbursement, $3,364.86 for a grand total of $113,324.37. Communications choice. So, uh, nothing new except everything's on our website. We have so many events. There's like 20 events just this month, and there's probably another 15 events of ongoing events. I know Sam's going to talk about the wing night, which is probably exciting. That's later on in the month. So, uh, our Shandaken website for the town is shandaken.us, and of course, our Facebook page always has all the listings there. And also, Ellen, who was our videographer, is semi retired and working from Woodstock. And she does all the postings of all the events on Channel 23. So she's still working and doing that, so that's good. And she goes in all the time to our website. She'll print everything out and type it out like it's 1942 on Channel 23. It's great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it's great for the seniors and, and a lot of people that do have Spectrum Cable, they can see it. Right. All right? All right. Thanks, Joyce. Before we get into um, our committee reports, I just want to bring up the idea of having a workshop, talk about a few things like um, moving the town hall, um, the RFPs for the water meters. Can we set up a date in the near future? I mean, we could do a brief conversation about the ideas of the 
we had a, a report done for relocating the town hall and the highway garage. Um, the, the school was one idea. The, the big problem with that is is the floodplain and how 214 can get closed down. I mean, the school in, a, in and of itself is a would be a nice piece of property, but can we afford to just buy that for a community service? I'm not. I'm not sure we can, but it's it's probably worth investigating to see if we can get a a grant to do that. Are we be asking about setting up a workshop or asking yes. about a grant? Okay, both, both of those <laughs> things. But we'll start with the workshop. As always, evenings are better. Generally, it's not Wednesday for me. And yeah, let's try and make it a Tuesday. I think a Tuesday works. I will be here the 13th, but you can record it. Nobody cares if I'm here. I won't be here the 27th. <laughs> <laughs> you can record it for me. Are those all actually evenings when this room is open? No one else is using it? Well, well we can make it open. Wednesday nights is not being used. The court has Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, she's not usually busy on Tuesdays no. so much. Yeah, you're not going to vote on anything, so I don't have to take a roll. Well, even if we yeah. do, it's a special meeting. We could just, I don't know. I mean, the 20th? Can you run the 13th? No. I'm leaving mm -hmm. on the 9th. I'm going to go back to the 24th. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm able to do the 20th. 20th? 20th okay with you? Yes, I can do the 20th. Kevin, Kyle, you can't do the twenty. Looks okay. okay. Um, Kevin's gone for most of the month till the twenty fourth. And you don't want to push it to September, right? Or the twenty seventh. I believe Elliot. I have no problem with you guys making it up. Okay. You trust us? Yeah, we know. Send them in. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will take minutes. Okay. You can't do the twenty seventh. No, I can do the 27th, but I believe Ellie could do the 27th. I can't do the 27th. One, one way or another, one of us You was, could do the... I can do the 13th or the 20th, not the 27th. Okay. Kevin can do the 27th, not the 13th or the 20th. Right. You, Robert, and Kyle seem to be open all the, all three of them. Got lucky. Kyle's fine. <laughs> you just basically pick which one of us you want to be there. We won't take it personal. <laughs> I certainly will. <laughs> Let's do the 20th. Gives us a little time. Okay. What time? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Do you want good. a videotape? Sure. Sure. Can, can you watch. come to yeah, I mean, Tuesday the 20th at 6 p.m.? Yeah. yeah. All right. 6 p.m. Yeah, that'd be nice. Make a motion. We have a workshop or special meeting on the 20th at 6 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. Uh, communications. Let's uh, continue on. Committee reports. I'm sorry, ambulance, anybody? Ambulance, July 2024 report. Total calls received 39, mutual aid given one, town of Olive, mutual aid received two, Olive first aid. Total July reports, 39 reports, total transports, 26, total no transport, standby or relocations, 13. This July can be summarized by the word insanity for the ambulance service. Not only did we avert tragedy by catching a faulty inverter on an ambulance that could have been catastrophic, but are also dealing with a venial agency research with the New York State Department of Health semi-annual medication reporting with the Department of Health, training of new employees, and hurdles caused by a national and state-mandated electronic 
reporting standard that outpaced our current computing software required for completion of patient care records. That, coupled with high summer call volume, makes for some very exhausted ambulance employees and equally exhausted ambulance administration. That said, and thankfully without any hiccups, our agency perseveres not just without the incredible help from our devoted employees, but yet again with the help of New Paltz Rescue Squad. New Paltz Rescue was able to assist Shandaken Ambulance in loaning much needed computer equipment in a stopgap measure to assure that we were able to accomplish our jobs with no adverse effect to the town regarding reporting, compliance, or billing for each call for service. This is not the first time New Paltz Rescue has assisted Shandaken Ambulance, a la Hurricane Irene, standard operating procedures, etc. And will likely not be the last. Continued support from surrounding squads wouldn't be possible without the camaraderie and mutual respect for what we do in the field for those that depend on us. And we are fortunate to have that support from those local squads that truly believe that ideal. Mutual aid goes further than just the call for service, and we are fortunate to be surrounded by ambulance agencies that exemplify that in the county and beyond. To Chief Matthew Goodnow, the New Paltz Rescue Squad, and all of the other departments and individuals that have helped us provide the best care possible to our citizens and visitors in their time of need, times of need, we are eternally grateful. We will always have your backs if we are able to do the same. Stay safe out there. Richard Marlowe, EMTP, Chief of Department, Town of Shandaken Ambulance Service. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Richard. And thanks, New Paltz. Thank you, New Paltz. <laughs> Um, building and zoning. Building and zoning. Our fire inspector performed nine visits this month and three inspections. And the building department issued 18 building permits, three certificates of compliance, two certificates of occupancy, one floodplain permit, and one demolition permit. Thank you. Kevin, police. Uh, I didn't receive a report this month. Oh. I believe Chad is out of town um, for work training, but no news is good news as always. When I get it, it'll be up on the minutes on the website. Anything on Phoenicia water or Pine Hill water? Well, Joe for the meter. Well, what, what's the meter problem that we're looking at the Pine Hill? We're looking at replacing water meters and the meter readers and upgrading them some of the, some of the uh, transponders on the meters that we read automatically uh, wirelessly are going out of date they're over 20 years and um, they have a 20-year lifespan so instead of pulling all the meters we're trying to figure out a way that we can get all the transponders up and running we're, we'll look into doing the same thing for Phoenicia I'm looking into some possible grants but we know that it's not an easy grant to get. Joe, museum. The Shandaken Historical Museum monthly report for July 2024. The museum is currently planning to take part in Phoenicia's Farmer's Market on Sunday, September 15th setting up and staffing our museum table to maintain an active presence in the community. On July 13th, the museum participated in holding a flea market in Big Indian, attended by over two dozen participants. On July 19th, a large antique photograph of World War I hero, Private Basil Smith of Pine Hill, New York, was donated to the museum collection by Dylan Gahn, along with the Pine Hill Smith family, based on Dylan's father's last wish. Private Basil Smith is listed among the many heroes remembered on the Pine Hill Honor Roll Memorial. The museum is continuing with its reorganization and inventory projects, along with adding new exhibits including an exhibit on the life of Dr. Hideo Noguchi, the illustrious Japanese doctor, microbiologist, and world health pioneer of the 20th century. This historically important Shandaken home 
which he built in 1917, is still intact and relatively untouched, but is in the process of being sold. There are over, there were over 40 visitors in July visiting the museum from the West Coast, New York City, New Jersey, and Europe, many leaving donations and grateful messages as they signed the registry. Thank you. Thanks, Joseph. <coughs> Sam. Um, so I just want to start with a general reminder that the Parks and Recreation Committee is made up of volunteers. We work on many projects, small and large, throughout the year. If you have concerns about anything related to Shandaken Parks, please direct the comments to me. I'm always available at Ulster Savings, if anyone doesn't know that. Um, or call the town of Shandaken. Um, takes time to order things we need and installations are scheduled with the highway department when they have time. Please avoid posts on Facebook or other social media platforms, especially if you've not inquired on whether a task is already being managed. That's my first note. Yeah. Um, Glenbrook Park, we, have, we had Steve White and Joe Rotella from the Shandaken Highway at our last meeting. Um, they've been very helpful in planning repairs and upgrades to the dog park. Um, we're completing a installation of a shade structure for the dog park. First phase is on Saturday, August 10th, but I don't think we really need any assistance with that. Second phase will be Sunday, August 11th. Um, I wanna thank Dylan Callahan for providing equipment that we need to dig the holes and secure the post for the structure, and to our Smith Park manager, Nick Torres, because he's our project manager on all of this. Um, Smith Park, um, some great news is that we decided at our last meeting that the um, existing tennis court that isn't used and is kind of in disarray would be a great spot for our skate park. Um, <laughs> so there's some volunteer efforts that are going to go into seal coating and making the surface usable. Um, and so hoping that we have the support of the board, but we definitely had the support of the committee at our last meeting. Um, so we're hoping that'll be started sooner than later. Um, the soccer goals, Nick Torres, our manager for that park, and his son painted the frames, they installed new nets. Please do not allow your children to climb on the nets. They're brand new, just installed. Um, we were also thinking of cleaning up and installing the existing rock climbing wall that's in the shed so that there's some place for them to climb, not on the nets, <laughs> would be great. Um, big Indian Park, a new flag has been ordered, but we need a new flag pole which is a pretty significant cost. Um, we're gonna reach out to DOT to see if they are willing to help with this cost, and if not, we'll try and move forward with ordering something, but that is in the works. And I just gave Joyce five new basketball nets, so when Highway has the time for that, Steve said he will install those. Um, Parish Field, we're working on lowering the swings so that they're easier to get in and out of for the kids. Um, other mentions that are like not park related, uh, as Joyce mentioned, there's going to be a wing night at the American Legion um, Post 950, presented by the Auxiliary, um, August 23rd, 5 p.m., $10 half a dozen wings with fries, $15 full dozen wings with fries. Um, the Phoenician Festival of the Arts is happening all month long throughout Main Street Phoenician on the boardwalk. Um, our Peace Bowl project, uh, another thank you to Dylan Callahan for helping with the installation of those Peace Bowls. They're auctioning these off to benefit the um, Catskill neighbors. And if you visit their Facebook page, the Phoenicia Peace Bowl project, you can see photos, information on the artist that created them, and recently they just added a link to the online auction. Um, we've already got, I think, 20 bids on different ones, so that's good, even just a day live. And we had a visitor comment on the Phoenicia's, Phoenicia Business Association website saying that they came to town for the first time, they saw these peace polls, they thought it was really great, and they wanted to know how they could bid on them when the auction was happening. So it's getting some recognition. The, in, the International Peace Poll Project people reached out to us, so we're on their radar too. So it's very good. Cool. Um, I think that's it. Thank you, Sam. You want to read about CAC? 
from from Beth. Beth Waterman is traveling. She sent in. The Conservation Advisory Council is working on three NYSERDA community campaigns: electric vehicles, clean heating and cooling, and community solar. Our, partici our participation in this program has earned the town twenty-five thousand dollars over the last six months. The town is purchasing electric lawn equipment, vehicle charging stations in Pine Hill, Tunisia, and is hoping to assist the Pine Hill Library as they upgrade their heating system from fossil fuels to an electric heat pump. Our compost collection at the town hall peaked over the July 4th weekend at 60 gallons. A normal week is closer to 40. Some households who regularly compost have chosen to use the collection at the town hall instead of their backyard compost over the summer months. On July 17th, the Phoenicia Farmers Market and the COC co-sponsored Ulster County Resource Recovery Agency's free Tiffin distribution program. Many who attended were satisfied with the educational component and the free reusable stainless steel container. Free stuff. What's that? Free stuff always. Yeah, free stuff. <laughs> free stuff. Free stuff. Um, thanks, Robert. Um, thanks, I know, Beth. I know Sophie's not here for the housing committee, but it should be noted that last month, Peter, Ellie, and myself all met with the housing committee for a workshop. Um, Carrie was also in attendance. Uh, we threw some ideas back and forth. They sent the board a list of recommendations, not uh, the least of it being the cap, lowering the cap permanently. Yep. So I think the board will be mulling that over before the moratorium is over next month. Right. Thanks, Kevin. And comprehensive plan, we're just waiting on pattern for progress to get things together. <coughs> Public comments on resolutions. Okay. Let's start. Do we need to do a motion for changing the main board meeting to September 9th? If we had voted it to be September yeah, it's on September the minutes of September. Uh, yeah. It's we'll be on September third. Right, so. Make that motion. Yeah. So, a motion to change the regular town board meeting from September second to September 9th at seven p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Resolution one hundred three twenty four. Resolution to pay all bills. Whereas the Department of Audit and Control require town boards to sign and inspect all vouchers coming to the town for payment to number and total amounts from each fund. Therefore, be it resolved, the town board authorize the following vouchers paid. General, $270,238.39. Highway, $143,971.65. Phoenicia Water, $7,271.48. Pine Hill Water, $7,632.16. Phoenicia Lights, $1,626.78. Chichester Lights, $233.11. Pine Hill Lights, $466.74. And the Pine Hill Sign, $30.45 for a total of $431,000. Four hundred and seventy dollars and seventy-six cents. Mm -hmm. Move its adoption. Second. Board member Drake. Yes. Board member Nysel. Yes. Board member Steen. Yes. Board member Dan Blarkham. Yes. Supervisor D. Supply. Yes. Resolution number one hundred four twenty-four: Request to Ulster County to reduce road speed limit. Whereas it is the duty and obligation of the Shandaken Town Board to safeguard and ensure the safety and well-being of its residents, and whereas in New York State the statutory speed limit on all roads is 55 miles per hour, and the New York State Department of Transportation has the authority to establish speed limits on state highways, county roads, and town roads, and whereas Plank Road, County Route 40, between County Route 212 and Main Street, Phoenicia, in the town of Shandaken, is frequented by pedestrians, hikers, bicyclists, and anglers, and whereas the high-speed vehicular traffic presents a potential ha hazard to residents who wish to walk, bike, jog, or recreate in their own town, and whereas a speed limit of 45 miles per hour or less is already posted for all other sections of County Route 40, now therefore be it resolved pursuant to Section 1622.1 of the Vehicle and Traffic Law of the State of New York, the Town Board petitions the Ulster County Department of Public Works and Ulster County Planning Department for the establishment of a speed limit of 45 miles per hour on all sections of Plank Road currently without a posted speed limit. Be it further resolved, a copy of this resolution shall be sent to the New York State Department of Transportation as well as form TE9 to the County Superintendent and move its adoption. Second. Board Member Drake? Yes. Board Member Nysel? Yes. Board Member Steen? Yes. Board Member Van Blarkham? Yes. Supervisor D. Spapan? Yes. Resolution 105-24, Hudler Cemetery Admins, Sexton. Whereas pursuant to Town Board Resolution 8924, the Huddler Cemetery in Mount Tremper was determined to be an abandoned cemetery by the New York State Cemetery Board. Whereas the Town of Shandagan will take over ownership and maintain and maintenance of the cemetery. Therefore, be it resolved, the Town of Shandagan Town Board hereby appoints Heather Craig of Mount Tremper to be sextant of said cemetery. 
also Peter Disclafani and Joyce Grant as administrators of said cemetery. And I move its adoption. Second. Board Member Drake? Yes. Board Member Nysel? Yes. Board Member Steen? Yes. Board Member Havlarkin? Yes. Supervisor Di Scafani? Yes. Resolution 106-24, resolution to hire summer camp personnel, whereas under section 20, notes of decision 9 of the town law, the town board shall appoint all employees of the town. Therefore, be it resolved, the town board of the town of Shandaken, upon the recommendation of the director of the town of Shandaken summer recreation program, hire the following individuals as summer recreation camp staff. Senior counselors at $16.25 an hour, Kathleen McSimmons. Returning counselors at $15.75 an hour, Jacob Story, Mercedes Story, Heather Schism, Duhane Guy, Julian Morton, Hudson Turba. First year counselors at $15.25, Dominique Evans, Tyrone Ferron, Amy Salinas, Jadiel Salinas, Milo Turban. Assistant Director Raven Ryan at $1,300 bi weekly. Please be advised that all paid counselors shall receive four hours compensatory pay for mandatory orientation as required under state law and move its adoption. Second. Board Member Drake? Yes. Board Member Nysel? Yes. Board Member Steen? Yes. Board Member Van Blarkin? Yes. Supervisor Discofani? Yes. Uh, for clarification, it's just a, a redo of last month's resolution with a few people added in. Go ahead, Kyle. Sorry. Resolution number 10724, commit ARPA funds for automatic external defibrillators. Whereas the Town of Shandaken Ambulance Administration has researched and recommended to the Town Board to upgrade and add a total of six automatic external defibrillators to owned properties. And whereas the Town Hall, Highway Garage, two police vehicles, Summer Recre Recreation Program, and Glenbrook Park. Therefore, the Town of Shandaken commits up to $10,100 from our Town ARPA funds be appropriated for automatic external defibrillators and move its adoption. Second. Board Member Drake? Yes. Board Member Nysel? Yes. Board Member Steen? Yes. Board Member Van Blarkham? Yes. Supervisor of Yes. Resolution 10824, ambulance hire part-time driver. Whereas under section 20 of the town law, the town board shall designate all appointed officers and employees of the town. Therefore, be it resolved that the following personnel be appointed to the Shandaken Town Ambulance at the following rates. Gabrielle Weiss, part-time driver, $15.17 per hour, and move its adoption. Second. Board Member Drake? Yes. Board Member Nysel? Board yes. Member Steen? Yes. Board Member Van Blarkham? Yes. Supervisor Discofani? Yes. All right, open public comments. You could move that up, Carrie, if you want. Just, you know how to unscrew that. Or just sit on the floor. What do you want to unscrew do? the thing. Do you want to raise the mic? Raise the mic. You know. Yeah. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. We'll yeah. see. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You look better than bending down. Yeah, yeah that would be good. Um, yeah. My son, Edric, and I um, would really just uh, like to thank the, the rec committee headed by Sam and um, her merry band for supporting, being so supportive of the Shandaken Shredders and the skate park project from day one actually. I think we called you on, on day two. And um, uh, it's been a long road it, all the way through. I mean, the, the, the issue has been, well, where's it gonna be? Yeah. Where's it gonna be? Where's it gonna be? And we finally resolved that at the last rec committee meeting and I'd like to really also thank the town board. You've all been just so super supportive of all of our efforts. You know, we've been out there every every week at the every farmers week market. Every week at the farmers market at Glenbrook Park, you're bringing your kids. It's amazing yeah. seeing you, everybody there, everybody out there. We saw Pete stop by a couple of days ago, and we said hi. That was awesome, and all the support has just been amazing. It was awesome having it at Glenbrook Park for the entire month. We got so many kids, more kids I've ever seen outside together in Phoenicia <laughs> ever in my life. It was so awesome. It was one of the most like enlightening and amazing experiences I've ever had for the past like month just being at Glenbrook Park and shredding it up and I wanna have another amazing couple of years for anybody and all the kids who come here, an amazing place for them to just have the same fun that I have too. Yeah, and so now we're gonna move ahead with your <laughs> We already have volunteers, uh, expert volunteers actually, for the resurfacing at, at Smith Park. So that should be happening in the next uh, couple of weeks, hopefully. Yeah. 
And um, we'll be putting out a call for um, others to come and help with the five gallon uh, buckets. And <laughs> what do you use those broom things? Um, but it's 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 been a, it, it's been an amazing couple of months. Edric's been on the on, on, it did an amazing interview on the radio, um, and um, we had we had uh, Bam Majera of um, uh, what's the what's his show? Uh, it's called Jackass. Jackass <laughs> fame. People of Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very supportive of the skate park. He's going to be back. We're going to be doing some. Mario's going to be doing some pizza events for the kids. Uh, as we move ahead, so we're, we're just delighted. We couldn't be happier. We couldn't be happier with with your support, your belief in us, because this couldn't be done without all of us. Yeah. It really takes a village. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. It, it actually had all. It actually had all the criteria we had on day yeah. one. There was a list of criteria, and uh, it looks like Duncan is going to go back. Uh, go in. Duncan Donuts is going to go in over 28, and um, there's some exciting developments in Pine Hill as well. We're close to the to the um, uh, Pine Hill Community Centre, and they they became our fiscal sponsor. It all makes sense. There's so much land there and land adjacent to the park that a lot of people don't know about. And uh, Rob's been uh, educating me on that. So uh, we're, we're just so excited to move ahead with this. Very cool. Good job, guys. <laughs> Seriously, good job. Thanks. Yeah, Rob. I just want to add something. Um, so years ago, and Kevin can attest to this, we had several attempts at the skate park. And it was supposed to go to Smith Park, and we went yeah. through designs and all these things, many, many, yeah. and tried to get it going. And the one thing we never had was Edric. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, kudos to you. Kudos, everybody should thank this kid because the energy he's got to do this is what's kept this time. It really is driving, and that's what we needed. We needed a kid to get behind it and move it. And kudos to you, man. Thank I'm you. looking thank forward to this, and I'm absolutely going to go across the street and help him. <laughs> Great news for Pine Hill. Great news for Pine Hill. Question, you have a meeting coming up and I would ask you to seriously consider discussion of infrastructure in Pine Hill. They've just received a $1.6 million grant. In that application, I'm understanding RepCo is looking at 10 affordable housing units. Under our code, you need two parking spaces for each apartment. That's 20 spaces, okay? You say it. You're going to need quite a few spaces for that building, no matter what entity is going to be in there. And it's parking that is at a minimum within Pine Hill right now. So I'd just like you to discuss the parking, what we can do about parking and see mapping for it, as well as what we're doing with the stormwater, because it continues now to go on my walkway. I get about an inch above my walkway to the rains. So please, Eric, can address that so that can stop. But if we can get a long term plan for the stormwater, that'd be great. Um, again, we can talk further with the rec department about um, easements that exist and they make it more accessible to the park. Thanks, Rob. Which is a good segue into, I just heard from Mark uh, Carabata from SLR, and he has put forth a, a plan for the Pine Hill parking lot. Um, he is putting together a plan for the parking lot. We also, we just got the survey. I haven't picked it up from Don. He just finished the survey for the parking lot. So we'll know the exact meets and bounds of the parking lot. We have been talking, or I have been talking with Bettini about taking over the fuel storage station and possibly turning in that into some parking. Um, we're inching along, but things are, things are moving finally. We can look at doing some parking in Smith Park. I mean, it does have some parking area, um, and maybe we could expand that by three or four spaces. It would that wouldn't be a that wouldn't be a bad idea. I, I mean, it would also behoove 
Pine Hill business owners to put as much parking as they could on their own properties. Everybody has to? Well, I mean, our code asks, uh, sometimes demands that businesses have parking, provide parking for their customers. I will say there is a parking space. There was a gravel lot that was cleared in the Pine Hill Park many, many years ago. It was just overgrown after a long time. There was probably about 15 spots there. It went along 28. That's a possibility, yeah. Great idea. between Main Street and yeah, Smith okay. Park. It would really be great to explore that as well so that people don't have to walk on the street to get to Main Street. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that's something we would really like to work that, on. Oh, so, that would sorry, be very... I've got one, one vital thing. Um, I was talking to a mem member of the Ulster County uh, Legislature. Is that how you say it? Legis <laughs> Legislature. Legislature. <laughs> uh, they are they are legislators. <laughs> We're gonna let it slide with the accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of the anyway. um, <laughs> and um, uh, she she mentioned it would be really helpful for them if we could for the skate park we could get a letter of support from the town of Shandeka. Just something just something simple and then so that they could officially support um, the skate park project and that would help us with funding. Oh, sure. That's all. Yeah. Make a motion to put a letter of support together. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I did it. What's that? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, that's all. I'm sure I didn't forget. It wasn't in my hand. It was, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any other public comments? I have a comment. Um, July 31st was my daughter's third birthday. Yeah, yeah. Um, just want to say, Frey Ray, happy birthday. Your family loves you, especially mommy and daddy. Aww. Aww. Thank you. I can't you. believe it's been three years. I know, I know. Aww. She's Aww. a big girl. I'm sorry, I think it's hard to come in. After. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to top that. No, we can't. When's we your can't birthday? Go after. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. Well, it's the time. Anybody else? All right. I make the motion to adjourn in the memory of Sandra and Joseph Murray, Stephen Durr, and Barbara Peretti. Make that motion. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Good night. Thank you.